turn my camera on to film and the builders are back the builders are back better than ever i took for granted the peacefulness did not miss that noise boop, 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 boop. in case you can hear banging shouting reversing just a bunch whole bunch of noises i'm very sorry but anyway hello everyone i hope you're all safe and well welcome to a brand new video so before we get into the video as always get comfy get yourself a drink i actually have an array of drinks today i have a black coffee of course I also have a lemon and ginger tonic shot of course and some water so i'm a bit spoiled for choice today i just felt like i really wanted to test a load of new products i've kind of got a little bit bored of my go-to products i feel like they've been the same for a good year now and i really just want to try some new things so i got a selection of pretty much everything i got fake tan i got skincare i got makeup i got some hair bits some high-end, some drugstore, kind of a mix of everything. As always, everything will be linked in the description box below. Um, but I just thought I could kind of try out a few things today, give you guys my opinion on them, if they're worth buying, if they're not. First things first, as you can probably tell, I have a fresh tan. So I did this tan last night and I have washed it off this morning and moisturised. I'm actually obsessed so this is the finished color as you can see there are zero streaks and I just feel like it's a really warm tan now the one that I used was the Bondi Sands Aero Tan but this is an ultra dark and I've never actually used this before usually I use the one hour express and I like it but I feel like it's very green this one even though it's ultra dark seemed to have less of a green undertone and Another thing I loved about this is because the mousse is so whipped, I guess, it doesn't dry your skin out. Like, my skin doesn't feel dry at all today. It just feels really, really nice. I also used it on my face, and it didn't make me have any breakouts, anything like that. Sometimes tans can make me get, like, little spots and stuff, but... I just really really loved it if you do love an ultra dark tan like me then this one is incredible the only downside i have to this is the transfer is quite bad like if you have white bed sheets like me which are now a shade of orange um i would say just be careful if you're going to put this on and then i'm awful for like rubbing against walls i know that sounds ridiculous but if i walk past a wall and like my shoulder rubs on it this really really does transfer so if you have a white home like me probably wouldn't recommend unless you're going to wrap yourself in cotton wool for the evening but other than it being a little bit messy i think it's actually like a really really nice color i don't know why i keep like seeing like this so next i picked up a few new little skincare bits um i didn't go crazy on skincare but i did want to try this brand which i actually saw on the boots website I don't know if this is really new or not because I haven't shopped on the Boots website forever. I usually just go in store, but that's obviously something we can't do at the moment. Um, but this is the Boots Glow range, and I'm pretty sure everything in the range is like £4. So it's super affordable. The first thing I picked up was this Glow Cleansing Stick. I've never used a cleansing stick before, so I'm not entirely sure how they like work. I don't know, but... Oh, it's a twist. Me trying to pull it and it's a twist. Oh my god, that smells incredible. It smells like watermelon. Oh my god, that smells so nice. So I'm guessing we just twist this up. This kind of reminds me of one of those roll-on deodorants. I don't know why, but I find roll-on deodorant like gross. Sorry if anyone uses it. My mum used to use roll-on deodorant and it would sit on the side like this and I would just think, I've used it a few times and that cold, wet, sticky slimy feeling under my armpit is something i never want to feel again like it was just horrific i will never use a roll on deodorant but this kind of reminds me of that um so i'm guessing we just how to use twist up the stick rub over skin and splash a little water on your face okay I mean, it feels nice and creamy and it smells so good oh it smells so nice let's get some in the old brows Okay, I feel like that's enough. Ooh, this is nice. Oh my God, this is really nice. Do you know what? It feels like 
my beloved Elemis Cleansing Balm. Like, it's really oily and nice. So, it says it's meant to melt makeup away and nourish skin. So, I mean, I should probably try this when I've got makeup on just to see how well it removes makeup because I know that Elemis Cleansing Balm literally does melt your makeup off. So, we're yet to put this to the test. Um, but, I mean, on fresh skin, it really does feel lovely and you know you can tell this is going to be a really hydrating product as well so i'm going to go and quickly rinse this off over the sink and i shall come back with the final verdict okay so i've just rinsed my face with warm water and honestly i am a big fan of this i feel like my skin is so silky honestly feels so good if you are looking for an alternative to the Elemis Cleansing Balm because that is quite expensive. I think it's about £44. It's amazing, but it is quite expensive. This is £4 and honestly, like my skin feels so soft. It feels really hydrated. It's got a nice glow as well. Like considering it doesn't have any products on it, it's got a really nice glow. So yeah, this is really, really nice product. So I picked up a few other little products from the Glow collection, which I'm actually really happy about now I know that cleansing stick is really nice. So I got this brightening mist and it says use as a boost in the AM or a hydrating fix in the PM, shake to mix, close eyes and spritz face and neck. So I guess this is kind of like an anytime little glow spray. Then I also picked up this little glow essence. Um, not gonna lie, I was suckered in by the packaging. I love this little, I don't really know what this is called, but I just, I love it. I find it really satisfying to like put on your face. So this is, I really need my glasses right about now because I can't read for shit. Um, but I'll just, I'll just carry on struggling. Okay, massage two to three drops onto cleansed, toned skin before moisturizer. Okay, cool. I'm gonna give the brightening mist a go. Oh, I hate that bit. Don't you hate that bit when you feel like it's gonna come out and it doesn't? Oh. Okay, I don't like the way that comes out. I know that's a really pedantic thing to say, but I like mists that are like mists. That felt like someone was, I don't know. Like it's quite, it's a harsh mist. So hold it further away. I think that was a little bit close to my face. Again, that smells really nice. I feel refreshed, so I really like that. Okay, now I'm gonna try a little bit of the glow essence. I'm excited about this. I love anything that makes your skin like really glowy. So I'm gonna put two drops on my fingers and then I'm just gonna massage it into my skin. I hate anything that leaves my skin sticky. Like if you leave my face sticky, you're going in the bin. I really don't enjoy that feeling. This doesn't feel like an oil. It feels a bit like a gel, which is nice because my skin doesn't really agree with oil. I don't know, it tends to sometimes give some breakouts. But yeah, I really, really like that. My skin doesn't feel sticky, feels good. It's left such a gorgeous glow on my skin, like that is so nice. It almost feels a bit like an illuminating primer. So I think this would be really nice for a primer. And then last but definitely not least, from the Boots Little Glow range, I picked up a moisturizer, which I'm just gonna use a very small amount of because I have got a primer and stuff to use. It smells so nice. Everything smells the same in this range, but everything smells so good. Okay. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels like a really nice day cream. Um, I feel like it'd be really nice for under makeup as well. It doesn't feel too thick. does not feel slimy or sticky and yeah. Really, really impressed with that entire range. Would definitely recommend. So moving on, I picked up some of these little beautiful eye, beautiful eye, beautiful eye. That's what they're called. I think they might have been about twenty pounds, which I don't really mind paying because I can't get out of the box because you actually get thirty pairs in here, which is loads. So I don't mind paying a little bit more if I have more than one. Okay, so when you open the pack, you get a little spatula. I'm guessing this is to, ooh, gooey. How amazing. Okay, ooh, God, what do I do with this? Ah! Oh my God, it's dripping everywhere. Okay. <gasps> oh no! Which way? Who knows? Oh God. Oh. 
So when you get these out the little pack, make sure you only have one because there is definitely two on here. Oh, do they go that way? Oh, I've got it on the wrong way. Oh, okay, the thinner end is meant to go in the inner corner of your eye. Okay, that's actually in my eye. Ow. Okay, right. This one is completely wrong because that's covering half my face. I didn't think that looked right, you know. Um, but they feel really, really nice. I'm quite excited to see if they actually make any difference to my under eyes. I am one of these people that if I am tired, like if I don't get enough sleep, the bags under my eyes are so dark. And I think it makes such a difference to, I don't know, my whole face. If my eyes look really dark and tired, I think I just look rough. Oh, yeah. Okay, these are slipping and sliding all over the place. This has gone into my eye about six times. Okay, these have got to stay on for 10 minutes and it will make my eyes look awakened and refreshed and remove any under eye darkness. That is what I need. The next thing I picked up was some pink hair dye. Now, this is the one I've seen so many people use and the hair just looks insane. I got jealous and thought, I want pink hair too. So if you have light blonde hair, basically it will go this gorgeous candy floss pink color. Now, <laughs> I feel like I've chickened out a little bit. Um, I still might do it. I need your guys' opinion. I really want pink hair, but I'm one of them people that will dye it and then will instantly regret it. This is the one where it says semi-permanent hair colour and it fades out between one and three washes. Um, and I also picked up this rose toner. So this is the little chart of what it will actually do to your hair. Um, so if I do decide to dye my hair pink and end up loving it, then this will come in very, very handy. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. It's time to take the iPads off, which are now currently like, they were like here. So, the only down thing I would say about these is they're very, very slippery. Like, honestly, this was like here by the time I took it off. That was me exaggerating, but it had gone down my eye quite a bit. In one of my videos, I asked you guys if you knew of a really good eye cream because I just feel like that's such a huge part that's missing from my skincare routine. So many of you said this was the best one. Now, this was quite pricey. This was £32, which for an eye cream, I feel like is expensive. So it is meant to reduce the look of dark circles, firms, and instantly targets fine lines and wrinkles. It smells kind of off. It's not gonna smell like that. You know when you've got an old cream hanging out in the back of your cupboard and you open it and it like smells a little bit funky? This smells a little bit funky. I think I actually saw Polly Marchant wearing this and I was like, do you know what? I need it. Okay, I'm only going to do one eye so we can see if there's any difference um, between this eye and this eye. Just staring at myself waiting for a miracle to happen. <laughs> to be honest, right? I actually really do feel like this eye looks brighter. Let me come a little bit closer. I just feel like right here, like this very inner corner, I don't know, it looks less, this side looks a bit more bulgy. Is that just me? Does, like it looks so much less purple. <gasps> I really love it. Okay, now it's time to apply it to the other eye. Okay, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of the eye cream. It does smell like it's gone off a little bit. Um, I think it's gonna be like a citrusy smell. But yeah, the smell isn't great, but I really do feel like it makes me look a lot more awake. Like I could happily not wear makeup now and just feel like my skin looks awake and fresh. And yeah, I'm very, very happy with it. Okay, my lovelies, we are now moving on to the makeup. I spent so long browsing through the makeup and I picked things that I've been really wanting to try for a really long time. So the first thing I got was the Soap and Glory Primer and skin illuminator because i wanted something that was really glowy on the base something that you could potentially wear without foundation i love that at the moment like i love not wearing a lot of makeup and just having like a no makeup look if that makes sense and i thought this could be a really nice little addition okay so this is meant to blur fine lines in a flash banish dullness and make sure makeup lasts longer so that sounds all good so this is really nice what the hell is that Ugh, something weird on my head 
Okay, this is unreal. Like, I really, really love this. This would be so amazing on its own, just to wear, like, on a warm day or if you go on a holiday. Holidays. Ah. Oh my god, I love it so much. I was a little bit scared when I first put this on my hand that it was going to be kind of making me look like the Tin Man. No one likes Tin Man vibes. Um, but I really do feel like you could wear this with maybe just a little bit of concealer and it would just be a really nice fresh makeup look. So I'm very, very happy with this. So the foundation that I got that I've been wanting to try for the longest time is the Faux Filter Huda Beauty one. I have never, ever, ever tried this and I've seen so many people say that it's their favourite foundation. I chose to get the shade Toasted Coconut. Now, I have no idea if this is going to be my skin colour like zero idea choosing a shade of foundation online is the single like hardest thing especially with this one because there were honestly about 70 shades love the packaging of this i think it's really really nice okay so this stays on the back one to two pumps for full coverage um i'm gonna apply this with a beauty blender because i don't want it to be too thick okay so with this foundation i am just gonna take two pumps on the back of my hand this actually looks like it's gonna be a little bit too light <laughs> but that might just be because i fake tan yesterday okay that is definitely too light which actually makes me really sad because this was quite expensive this was like i think about 35 pounds it might change color you know some foundations do that so we will wait and see now what i will say is a little bit goes a long way i have used the tiniest amount of that foundation and it's pretty much done this entire side of my face. Like, I've never quite used a foundation like this. I don't even know what to say. Like, it's just completely and utterly flawless. Like, my skin looks so smooth. <gasps> okay, now I completely understand why everyone uses this foundation. It's completely and utterly just incredible. Wow. <gasps> okay, I look very pale. I don't look that pale in this mirror, but in that viewfinder, I look very pale. So if you're um and ahhing about buying the Faux Filter Foundation by Huda Beauty, 100% like yes it's so nice especially with that primer underneath it is just i'm gonna go ahead and say this is my favorite foundation a little bit gutted about the shade but ignore the fact that it's quite light at the moment we can darken that up with bronzer but i think if i got this in a slightly darker shade i got shade toasted coconut so if you do have the same kind of tone like a fake tan as i do i'd probably go for a little bit darker um but really 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 happy with that for concealer i got the maybelline fit me concealer now you guys know i love the maybelline fit me foundation so i thought i'd give the concealer a try because i've never actually used this and i got this in shade 05 because i thought it looked really really light i really like a very light concealer I like a yellow tone concealer. I don't like anything that's kind of got a pink tone. So, first impressions of this, really, really blendable. Like, can you see how easily that blends? It doesn't stick in one place, which is something I hate with concealers when they're really, really hard to blend. No one has time to spend forever trying to blend a concealer. The coverage of this also looks really, really nice. It's not at all watery. It doesn't look like it's going to be cakey either. Look a little bit crazy right now. Oh, God. Um, yeah, definitely underestimated how little of this I would need. I've put way too much on, but it's okay. Bronzer will fix everything. I know I keep saying that, but bronzer really will fix my life, my life problems. So liquid contour, 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 liquid contour. Thank God, because my colour needs some, my, ah, I can't speak, my face needs some colour. Um, I actually used some of this when it first came because I wanted to test it out on my hand. So this is the, I've forgotten, Maybelline, is it a razor eye? I think so. Multi-use concealer and it has the little sponge on the end. I love the concealer version of this. Um, but I got a slightly darker shade to contour because I wanted to do a cream contour today This actually looks like it's going to be a really nice color It's a very warm orangey color, which is what I really like in a tan and then I'm just gonna pop some all over my jawline to get that chill jaw 
and then a little bit on each side of my nose and then some on my forehead so just basically all over my face right okay that is a beautiful color I'm so, so happy with that. Okay, so that's all of my cream products done. Before I actually set my face and bake, I like to use just like a pressed powder just to kind of set everything in place. And I can find sometimes when I bake on slightly, not wet, but dewy foundation, it can stick and then it just looks a bit of a mess. So I picked up this press powder. Now Boots was sold out a lot of their product. So if any of this stuff is sold out, I will try and find alternatives. But this is kind of the only press powder they had left that was quite affordable. I didn't really want to spend a lot of money on a press powder. So this is the Kick Ass Instant Retouch Press Powder by Soap and Glory. I got it in this shade, so it's a very light banana-y shade. I'm gonna use a big fluffy brush. This was from Boots as well. This is one of the Eco Tools ones. This is a really nice brush, especially for bronzer. Like, it's just really nice and big and fluffy. I'm gonna do this side of my face and then kind of compare what it looks like with powder versus no powder. Okay, so this side of my face is covered in powder and this side of my face doesn't have any powder on. Now, I find the no powder side does look a lot more natural, but it also feels like my makeup's kind of going to slide all over my face. It doesn't feel very secure, doesn't feel like it's stuck in place, um, but I feel like the powder side feels a lot softer. It looks a lot more airbrushed, and again, it looks a lot more full coverage, which is what I do like when I do my makeup. I'm very all or nothing with makeup. I either go all out, all the products, or very 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 minimal and kind of no makeup at all little coffee break okay so the loose setting powder that i have gone for is the fenty beauty beauty fenty beauty not beauty i can't speak today i'm just having one of those days where my brain and mouth is just not in sync i have heard such amazing things about this setting powder i needed to get a new one and you guys know I love Laura Mercier setting powder, but I kind of just thought I want to try something new. I just want all new products. So I thought I would give this one a go. Now, this comes in a few different shades. I got the shade Honey, um, which I'm unsure if it's going to be a little bit too dark, but you know, I was just playing the guessing game with the shades at this point. So first things first, the packaging is just insane. I didn't expect anything less. I love this so much. This is also quite big. Do you know what I mean? Like it's quite a big pack. Pack? Container? You get a lot of product basically. This is very dark for a translucent powder and I'm very scared. Oh, I'm sad. Oh no. Okay, do you know what? I'm not going to bake with this because that shade is far too dark to bake with. I like to bake with a really light powder. Um, but I don't necessarily feel like I need to bake today because I've just used a lot of powder. So I'm going to use some more powder because why not? I just want to see what this is like. Um, I'm scared. It might warm up my face a little bit. Probably shouldn't sniff powder, Gemma. It smells really nice. It's got a really nice scent. So what I could do is kind of use this as a bit of a bronzer because um, I love spending like £35 on a setting powder and then I can't actually use it as a setting powder but I should have known better to be honest. Okay, do you know what I'm going to do with this? I am just going to put it all over my face um, because I spent £35 on it. I'm just going to dust it all over my face because I just kind of want to see what it's like. Um, you know... Don't want to waste it as well. I don't know how well you can see this on camera, but my skin looks like it's not real skin. It's what I like my full coverage makeup to look like. I want it to look airbrushed. I want it to look really, really, really perfect. Like that's the whole reason I put makeup on. Powder is really stunning. It doesn't look cakey. It still looks quite like sheen. Oh my God, I love it. I love this love it and hate it when I like expensive makeup because then I know that I'm gonna have to buy it forever and that kind of saddens my bank account. Okay so for bronzer, Boots literally have no bronzers. 
none they were all gone i really wanted to get the estee lauder bronzer you know the really big one um because i know so many people love that but it was out of stock so i picked up quite a random one actually um and it is this butter bronzer it looks like it was going to be nice i got a good gut feeling about it so i thought just buy the bronzer gemma just buy it this smells like barbados not like i've ever been to barbados but this is what i imagine the caribbean to smell like this smells like pure coconuts wow i love this and i haven't even put it on my face yet what is this little contraption oh wow it's like a sponge on a brush i mean i'm not going to be using that i never use the things that come with the like bronzers because i just i find they never work oh my god my nose is so itchy i hope i'm not having an allergic reaction to something that would be good wouldn't it with the bronzer i'm going to take my contouring brush from makeup by polly and i'm just going to kind of go over my cream bronzer oh my god this smells insane it's so seamless oh my god another product that i love that was expensive no i feel like this is called butter bronzer because it literally goes on your skin like pure butter like it almost melts onto your skin and that is something i love in a bronzer i hate any bronzers that make you patchy or make you look muddy this is just really gorgeous and seamless i am a big big fan a big fan what i'm gonna do as well is i don't really wear eyeshadow that often anymore um what i usually do is i just put a little bit of the bronzer that i've used on my eyelid and kind of blend it up um i really do think this makes such a difference i think it just gives your eye a little bit more definition i usually just pop a little bit on top of my eyelid and then i just put a little bit underneath as well and it almost kind of just makes your eyes look a little bit more smoky. I really do think it makes the biggest difference. So completely forgotten about the fact I have eyebrows and I need to do them. So I'm gonna do those last, which is very not me. I'd usually do them when I'm baking, but obviously didn't bake because I bought the wrong shade. Next thing which I picked up, which I'm so excited about is a blush palette that I've wanted for a really long time, but again, was a little bit expensive and didn't really know if it was worth the money. So this is the Kali Kissed Highlight and Blush Palette. So I didn't buy a highlight because obviously it's all within this palette. How insane do these shades look? I was absolutely obsessed with this one. I love any kind of peachy blusher. I just think it's really, really beautiful for spring, summer. And then there are these two highlight shades as well, which, oh my God, look how incredible they look. So I am dying to use this peachy color here. So I'm gonna use that. Oh my gosh, that. usually with blushers i am used to being like really getting in there and not really having very much pigment it also has this glow already like you don't even really need to put any highlight on there like wow it's honestly such a beautiful blusher i'm so happy i bought this palette wow i feel like this side does need a little bit of a blend i wasn't really prepared for there to be that much pigment there the next i'm going to try out some of this highlight these products are really creamy like they're really really buttery the highlights they're not powdery at all like they feel very buttery and silky which is just what i love from a highlight Do you know what this one reminds me of this reminds me of my og favorite highlighting palette which is the huda beauty golden sands palette you know the kind of goldy highlight that i always talk about this is pretty much exactly the same with kate now i'm gonna just pop a very little bit here oh my goodness i don't even know what to say bearing in mind i've got a lot of powder on as well i feel like this goes on really really nicely so next i'm gonna do eyebrows i picked up the nyx tame and frame tilted tilted tinted god help me the tinted brow pomade i haven't used a pomade in ages i haven't got any product on my eyebrows at the moment i'm just gonna brush them kind of up like more of a natural eyebrow at the moment and i find with pomades they can sometimes come out quite harsh um and i prefer more of like a fluffy natural brow
Whilst doing the other eyebrow, if you kind of get past the top layer, so as you can see, once you get past the top layer and you really get into the product, it does go on a lot more smoother. I think that top layer is quite crumbly and I think that's what I was using on this eyebrow. So I've noticed because I'm a bit deeper into the product, it's a lot more creamier and it applies so much like smoother. So yeah, if you do buy this product, definitely kind of don't use the top layer, like really dig your brush in because I feel like this is a lot more... I don't know, I really like it now I'm not using the top layer. So I didn't get any mascara purely because I very, very rarely wear just mascara, like it's very rare. So I got eyelashes. Now, if you guys are an OG, you will know my favorite eyelashes ever are the Eyelial 141s. Me and Sophie love them so much. And when I was looking on the website, I couldn't find them anywhere until I realized they have a new name. So this is what the Eyelial 141 lashes look like now. They have completely rebranded them. Lashes are on. I haven't worn these lashes in so long that I just forgot how much I love them. You know when you haven't used something in ages and you put it on you like, I love you so much. I remembered that I got sent a PR package from L'Oreal and there is this shade in the pack that was just, it was like nothing I'd ever seen before. And it was this one. Now, this is part of the L'Oreal Paris, um, I think it's like a high gloss range, but they're also like super pigmented. And this one is in the shade B Brilliant, and it's like a beautiful bright red, super glossy, like it almost looks like glass on your lips. It's insane. I am going to apply this and you guys will fall in love like I did because it's just amazing. Now, what I did find is you need to build this up. So I usually just apply a very small amount to my lips, make sure they're all covered, and then I'll build on it. And that's where the shine comes from. Oh my god, it's just such a beautiful lip colour. just want to come a little bit closer so I can show you just how like amazing and bright and shiny this lipstick is up close. Okay, last but definitely not least, for setting spray. Again, Boots was very, very limited with setting sprays. When I'm linking everything below as well, if Boots is out of stock of anything, I'll try and find an alternative website. I know Feel Unique, Look Fantastic, places like that stock a lot of this stuff. So if the link that you click on isn't Boots, it's because I have been a little detective and tried to find somewhere that actually has got it in stock. I like this packaging. I like kind of like plain black and white and I like how this is square. Did anyone else put setting spray on and immediately look in the mirror like, have you changed anything? I actually think that's really, really nice. It's kind of made my highlight pop a little bit more and I find when you have a lot of powder on, a setting spray will literally transform your makeup. I can find sometimes my makeup can look quite powdery and quite cakey. And then when I use a setting spray, it almost just like melts it all onto my face. So a setting spray is super important. And that one's actually really nice. I think this one as well was like under £10. So my makeup feels nice and secure. Like it's not going to slide off anywhere today. So my lovelies, this is the finished makeup. I am so happy with my new purchases, like just everything. I'm so happy with everything. Um, I'm trying to like think of some of my favorite things. Um, okay, so favorite things is of course the highlight and blush palette. This is just amazing. I know that I'm gonna get so much wear out of this over the next few months. Um, I really, really, really love this. This was definitely worth the money. The next favourite thing is, of course, the foundation. I think this is beautiful, especially like now. It just, it looks absolutely flawless. It hasn't gone cakey. It hasn't creased. It just really does look amazing. I can see why so many people hyped about this. Um, is this where I'm just going to go through every single product? This is another one of my favourites. I think it's really, really affordable. It smells amazing and... My skin felt gorgeous after I used this. Like my skin just felt so hydrated and smooth and lovely. So for four pounds, I think this is amazing. I am gonna try and do at least one testing makeup video a month. I really miss doing them. Like when I actually do them, I'm like, I miss these, I wanna do more. But I kind of want you guys to get involved a little bit more. If there is anything you would like me to test, please just comment below. 
um, any kind of like new brands, old brands, cheap brands, expensive brands, anything you want me to test, please let me know. Yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. Like I said, I will link as much as I can in the description box below. Love you guys so much. Bye. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're going to